what, it doesn't seem to be much help because Adam is backed up against the ropes again. Real Steel, 2011 starring Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is going to take you through a robot story, basically that fight and box uh, for money. And that's what it is, gambling on machines. Of course, you got Hugh Jackman to make an emotional connection. He does have a son, so he wants to, he's an ex-boxer, and he, he wants to take, you know, he's pro with these robots and boxing and fighting in the ring with them. So he wants to take them on. It's a strange film because you do start to feel for an inanimate object in real steel. Uh, and I think it's a lot to do with Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman has this connection uh, with the audience. So you connect with Jackman who connects with the robot. Hence, it all completes a full circle combination. A quan here, if you want to call it that. All three things in one. A trinity. And it, it completes that. A trifecta in the movie. And I like how it completes it. But other movies have done it better. So I know the feeling when it comes to this type of movie. And so do you. So it doesn't really completely fill my heart or make me tear up like I fully want. There is a, there is scenes where you will tear up, of course, or you, you know the movie does play on your emotions. But of course, you're dealing with robots in the end, so you know how it's going to end. And it's real steel, and it's Mr. Jackman, so you know he's taking home that that trophy and that glory, no matter what the odds are. That's where I'm kind of disappointed. I like to see Jackman lose with the robot a little more. I think he does lose once, but I want to see him maybe even lose at the end, uh, something like that. I want something different from Real Steel. It doesn't give us that difference or that nuance that makes us say, wow, I want to put this in or I want to talk about it to a friend. I even want to go out and buy it. Uh, I don't recommend buying the film at all or investing in the movie or even you know rushing out to see it or putting your time to see it, honestly. There's other movies that do it better. The Real Ram Reviewer, though, did enjoy the film to a certain degree, so I will recommend it if you're into Hugh Jackman. That is for sure. It's classic Jackman. And if you're into some super-duper fucking Transformer robot shit, uh, this probably ain't the super movie for you, but it does have a stay grounded in the robots, and I do like that. They try to give us action and entertainment, but when you got Jackman, that's all you need. You don't need no robots there. You know, they don't. Let's go real steel. Come on, right, left. Come on, Jackman.